You know, these grief sessions are for your benefit, not mine. I can't do it alone. Before you can find happiness, you have to search within for peace, harmony, and inner tranquility. Anyway, why don't we look at the progress then? And while I'm locating the information, I encourage you to breathe in these calming serums and try to relax your body and your mind. Do you like it? I made it myself. Breathe in and out. In. There you go. All righty then. Oh, Everin, honey, if you don't start trying in class, how do you possibly expect to pass this year? And then there's Cade. His teachers are so concerned that he hasn't spoken in two months, yet he's still at the top of his class. You know, sweetheart, my advice to you is to stop enabling him. Children with this kind of disability. They're like babies who cry or throw tantrums. And unless you let him know, he'll think that what he's doing is okay. It's not a disability. He's suffering a loss. And he's right here. Just because he doesn't talk doesn't mean he can't hear you. <laughs> she speaks. Well, anyway. Why don't we just stop this session for today? Uh, 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 uh. Remember, we always sign off that we had these sessions so that the school knows we're making progress. You never gave us any guidance. Let me leave you with one of my favorite sayings. Be your own kind of beautiful. I finished the transfers. Uh, everything was able to get put on two oh, DVDs. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, no problem. And oh, oh wait, I've got the original too. Here. Yeah. And uh, Everin, listen, I'm uh, I'm really sorry about your mom. Uh, if if there's anything. 
that I can do. It's okay, it. thanks. Okay. No problem. No, no, he's just a friend. Don't go too far. Look at your imagination. Why aren't you playing with Jack? What about Kate? He wants to join. You're in bed, Sarah. You're in your hand. Whoa. Ah. What are you filming for? It's disgusting. Film the kids. You're missing a stop. No, come on. Okay. All right. You made your point. Kate, I swear to God. Jack! What? I'm just trying to get him to talk. Yeah, it looks like you're having quite the damn conversation. You're always weaseling away in other people's business. Well, I'm just trying to get him to talk. He doesn't want to. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Why does he feel like I'm the only one? Well, you're doing a fantastic job, Jack. Well, your constant bathing isn't helping either. <laughs> Why don't you do something instead of skipping school and getting high with your dumbass friends? Then you can bully him and tell him how to live. Don't accuse me of shit that's not true! Well, I'm pretty sure it's not skunk I'm smelling on your clothes. You can both take your heads out of your asses and face the real world for once. Then you can have the right to. Dad's home. Hey, kiddos. <laughs> so what are you guys up to? Come on, give me some updates. How was school today? Good. It's really stuffy in here. Why don't we open up, huh? Whew. Hey, I was thinking, um, I was thinking we could go get some ice cream at Gordy. Actually, my friend is coming to pick me up. Okay, Kate? He has an important test tomorrow. Yeah, he, he doesn't have to stay. Yes, he does. Come on, should we stay? Ev? I know you love that blueberry. I don't yet. want to.
in a dream the strangest and the oddest things appear and what insane and silly things we do here is what i see before me vividly and clear as i recall it do i get a hug before we head out i had the getting ready to go over the river honey come on we gotta go Hey, if your sister needs a ride. Hey, hey, if your sister yeah, needs a yeah, ride. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. In love with me, I found your lips close to mine, so I kissed you, and you didn't mind it at all. He's fine. Um, okay, where's where's mom? Jack, where's mom? Jack, where's mom? Where's mom? Jack, where's mom? Oh, where's the fire? I didn't see your car. Yeah, well, I, I just, I thought, uh, I thought we'd go to the park today. It's, um, it's a beautiful day out, so. It's Friday. Um, you don't have any uh, tests or anything, right? So. I'm tired. Okay. Uh, well, we, uh, we could watch a movie. We could just um, stay in, hang out. I want to go to bed. It's four o'clock. I'm tired. Come on, Ev. What do I have to do to spend time with you? I think some family time would be good for us. I really want... Ev, please, I just want...
Jack, get out. Jeez, why are you in such a bad mood? What do you want? Come on, Ezekiel and the council have been looking for you. You're in a lot of trouble this time. Ezekiel? No, not recently. Oh, and welcome back. Evan Gray. Is Ezekiel around here? The council's been having a lot of meetings. It makes sense after what happened, which makes your stunt fully timed out. You really gave everyone a heart attack. you see Ezekiel anywhere? What's that? Have you seen Ezekiel? Somehow. She got quite a rise out of the camp when he left. Are you feeling okay, Ev? And it was like so crazy. And then I can't even remember the end of the night. I just know this one guy took me home. Oh my gosh, he's just taking me home. up, Amber. What the hell, Evan? Sorry, I have something I... Stay away now.
Evren. Trying to suck up so that you get a lesser punishment today with your council trial? You know I have no influence when it's my own blood. Trial? Evren Gray, you are here before the council concerning your recent actions in violation of the council's order that no one was to leave the temporary campsite. If you have anything to say on your behalf, step forward now. Comments from council? Leah? Why just me? It just looks like you have something to say. I have nothing to say. Well, good then. So why don't we close I'm by... I'm missing a full day of scouting to be here to give some misbehaving child a slap on the wrist. No offense, Maggie. You know that your council duties take precedence Back over... at home, yes, but we're in a crisis situation. And instead of finding a way out of this camp, we're here for something as trivial as... People seek order in chaos. While you're trying to make everybody comfortable, some of us are out risking our lives to get us to our destination. We will make it to Hemel. There's no reason to be so crass about it. I'm abrupt because I care. And I don't? I've been working tirelessly with teams of Virgo and Tori, developing the star charts where you Your star charts are what deterred us from our journey in the first place. Your star charts are what have us living in fear in this temporary prison. We are blessed to have this camp. Enough! We have wasted enough of my time and my daughter's time on this matter. Everin, Everin Gray, as Council of Forby, I sentence you to cook, wear, upkeep for a full moon cycle. Okay, but there are rules. She's your blood and... Request trial ending. Granted. With representation of Aries of Fire, Virgo of Earth, Pisces of water, and Libra of air. I announce this council dismissed. I just don't want to see more people die. Did you just sentence me to dishes? I'm sorry you had to experience that. You know they're better than this. Um, where's Cade? Out waiting for the scouters to return. Where else? Okay, hey, don't mess around. I'm not messing around though. I'm just I'm passionate about it. I just really want to help and like Okay, Evren. Does that stupid grin of yours mean everything went well? I no. Now you know I'm also a little actually a lot offended that you didn't bring me with you when you escaped here, but I thought it over. I guess I'll forgive you. I'm glad you're okay though. Are you gonna talk to me or just look at me weird? It's kinda <laughs> freaking me out. They've been spotted! Here they come! Where? Finally. They've been out surveying the area for three days now. Oh crap. We need a doctor! Scorp got him. This is what I've been telling you. The scouting isn't a joke. I don't think it's a joke. It's just... It's not about a badass reputation or the amount of adventures that you go on or just whatever you I'm think makes it exciting. I'm not stupid, Jack. Okay, okay. Why is he in such a bad mood? Malachi? When is he not in a bad mood? He would have let an entire group waste away while sulking in the corridor worrying about his own problems. Hey, Mom says we have to respect him. I would be pretty upset too if all my friends were murdered around me. I do have respect for him, but only because he fought in the resistance and get the score. He sought out an oracle to single-handedly put a stop to the fighting. There's no such thing as oracles. <laughs> and even if they were, it wouldn't have been single-handedly. There's no pride in asking for a witch to curse all your problems away. Even the things that are hunting us, even if they were Scorps, and even if they were undead, you would still have a lot to explain for. That's honestly why most of this camp is uneasy. Myself included. 
They're not witches, Jack. They're oracles. Or they can they have the answer to literally anything. They have the power to see across worlds and dimensions. It's awesome. Stop reading stupid mythology archives. Do you think Mordecai still knows where the oracle is? Um, Malachi? Yeah. No. You know why? Because they're not real. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? To get some answers. You can't just talk to him. Are you serious? So what? He's a little grouchy. Everyn, you're insane. You don't have to come. All right then. I'll see you at your death ceremony, Ev. Can I help you? You can go into my car and take whatever you want. Give it back, Kate! Give it back, you little thief! It's not yours to take! Stop! What the hell are you doing? He didn't do anything to you! He stole something from my car! And I had to pick him up after school while you decided to disappear! To what? Sleep? Yeah, you're the one to talk about skipping school to sleep! What the hell does he want from you anyway? <laughs> you think I'll leave to go party? Or do whatever the hell I want? You think Dad fills up the fridge after magically returning from where the fuck he vanishes to? Yeah, like you're better than everybody else. Like you actually do shit around here. I work my ass off while your head is in the clouds and he's burying these goddamn journals! Amber dropped off your backpack. Get out. I have questions. Yeah, you and the whole damn town of Forby. What is Forby? Is that where we are? No. What kind of person doesn't know what their own hometown is? I know you and your little friends probably thought this would be funny, but I don't have time for games. I'm trying to find the Oracle. Then keep looking. I want you to tell me where you found her. You are the girl that was found unconscious. Listen to me. If your brain is scrambled, that's a problem for a medic, not a myth. And you would have thought that you would have learned your lesson by now with the apparent displeasure you have with staying put in Lear. What's Lear? <sighs> this. This is Camp Lear. And if you're seriously considering going outside of camp again, you're better off dead. I'm going to get ready for supper rituals. You're going to leave. Good supper. Good supper.
who have risked everything to keep us safe, and to those who have yet to return. We have endured much, but we continue to fight. To the Aries! Yeah! yeah. and mindfulness within ourselves to be our best and most wholesome being. We pray that through the best and through the worst possible times, that should we lose our way, we shall find our way back to the light, back to ourselves, and back to where we belong. Are you serious? Are you leaving? Can I come with you? Kate, what? If she gets into something, we all do. It's like our unspoken pact. In 4B, we can handle this, but things are different now. It's more dangerous. Ev, your obsessive cravings for adventure have gotten way out of hand. This is something we can handle in 4B. Jack, I swear, you used to be fun at some point. If Grayson dies, I have to become a scouter. And I can't give up that title for some childish misbehavior. I'm not just going for fun. I have to find the Oracle. Ever. The Oracle is a legend. She's not real, you know that, right? And either you're gonna get far with these maps? Yeah, why not? Have you seen them? Um... I'll figure it out. That's just being reckless, just plain stupid. Oh, but what a coincidence, Jack. You can read Star Trek. No, 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 we don't want to get him in trouble. You and I will go. All Come right. On. say you can see across worlds.
I'm not from here. I'm not from- Do not waste precious air and time with the obvious. Okay. I just... I come from cars, schools, office buildings, busy streets, busy people. A routine so organized and repetitive that the hustle of life doesn't let you realize that you're not actually living one. But then I close my eyes and I'm here. Things don't make sense, but in every single way it's better. It's the best thing that's ever happened, actually. Irrelevant. Well, I have questions. Questions I can't ask people back at camp. My brothers, or <laughs> my mother. Not without risking the possibility of finding out that it might, that it might not be. If you think you're special, you're wrong. There have been thousands that have come before you, each thinking that they had a far more superior motive than the last. If you have questions, they come at a price. Let's start with the coins in your bag. You know, we prefer the word gypsy for people like you back at home. Or con artist. And why aren't my brothers allowed in here? My sessions are only private. One on one. Next what? question. <sighs> Do you know Malachi? Yes. What? You didn't even tell me how. Then ask. How? Years ago, during the Fourth Zodiac War between the Scorpios and the Leos, he came to me much like yourself and asked me to put an end to the war. So I did. So it is true. Do you even have any idea that your curse didn't work? Yes. <sighs> Wait. But how could you? But you would just. Yes, and yes. People are dying from these things that you created when you failed. I was asked to end the war, and I did so. Anything that happened after that is no concern to me, and I believe we're off track. If you're here to try and save a place that you feel you don't even belong in, or know anything about, that is fine. But I don't see you as the hero type. What is Forby? Forby is, or was, one of the many mixed villages. They're the 12 provinces of strictly singular signs. Rainer of the Sagittarians, Capsule of the Gemini. Female of the Leos. We're seeking protection from the Scorps. As I was saying, there are many villages around the world with many different signs. Okay. Oh, and my mom. Her eyes? There's nothing there. They're empty. Why? The purification is a rare ritual of the highest honor. If you are favored enough to be chosen by an oracle, you evolve into your most flawless and eternal self. One can recognize the purified by the pristine white of their eyes. Purification establishes your permanency within a realm. Everything here is centered around astrology and the elements, if, if it somehow determines everything in life. Why? Humans are so ignorant. You think you know everything, like you've got it all figured out. You blindly trust and insist that your beliefs are the sole basis on which we live and that nothing else could possibly exist alongside it. Science, myths, God, no God, you don't know everything. You're not always right. Don't be wasteful on idiotic inquiries, especially not on your last coin. Now, I believe there's one real question you've been hesitant to ask. A question you're too afraid to ask but not so afraid that it brought you here.
keep the change. Is it real? Is, is this real? Did you hear that? I told you I thought I heard something. Kate! What? We're not gonna help him? How are you gonna help him? Wait, wait, wait! I think I prefer to sit. Fine with me. Thank you for saving me, whoever you are, but you can't just leave me like this. What's the point of saving me if you're just gonna leave me here to die? I, I'm pretty good at, at mapping and charts and, and sky reading. It's just, I can be pretty, it's pretty valuable these days. I just. <laughs> Fine, just shut up. Are you insane? The can would go crazy at a time like this bringing in new people. I don't understand. He'll die. I'm going. No! Let me. Um, I think we can help. Really? How? Shit. know what you're doing. Um, yeah, my dad used to be a doctor. What is, what is he now? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get my mind off this. No, um, I don't really know. He doesn't hang around too often. Actually, I haven't seen much of him since we got here. Sorry about that. No, I think I like it that way. I just want to let you know how much I really appreciate you welcoming me here. If it, even if it means trouble for you guys, I'll try to help out the best I can. Is, is there something I can do? I'm not really the person to ask about what's going on here. I really can't say it alone. Well, I can't let you go out there on your own. Well, Especially not after encountering those things. Well, I handled myself fairly well, didn't I? What's your problem with being here? I, I can't imagine anyone's welcoming any Scorpios anytime soon. Your... No. They're not. They're not. What? Listen. You don't have to talk to anybody. You don't even have to interact with anybody. But we can set up a tent on the outskirts and no one will really have to know that you're here. Damn. Just exile them out there? They're basically kids. We are not exiling anyone anywhere. How can we trust her? She is a Scorpio. 
We said they were all dead, but now she appears out of nowhere. Besides, we can barely look out for ourselves as it is. We cannot be taking in strangers. We know the risk, but... But what? We are surrounded by those things. We have nowhere to go. I don't think this council's been making very intelligent decisions of late. Listen, we want to hear all of your opinions, but this decision will be made within council. Wasn't your daughter the one who's bringing this to us in the first place? What brought us to this point doesn't matter. We're in this position now, so... If something brought us to this point, it's him! Malachi is our hero. We're blessed to have him with us. With the lack of Leos, we wouldn't know where to search for him. And what has he done for us recently? If you have a problem, directly with me. I do have a problem. My wife is dead. And it's all because you Leos said you killed all the Scorpios, but didn't. Yeah, it was because of your failure in tampering with shortcuts that brought them to Forby. We had nothing to do with this fight. And now, innocent people are dying. This is our not our fault. Our families are dying. Aaron, you have to the listen Leos to me. It's like I had something good and I think I destroyed it. Yeah. Alex, is that, is that you? Mom, Mom will be so excited to see it you. It seems to me that I'm the only one who's put in any effort. Ah! To Finally come. This is your mess. This is your curse. I suppose you should have been more specific when you asked for my help. I did what you asked. So why are you here? Next. Thank you. <sighs> I wish you hadn't put on your white gown. I'm afraid I'm going to get paint it's on fine. you. <sighs> Do you really have to paint everyone's faces out there? Don't make it sound like a chore. There aren't many air representatives that get a chance to contribute to the purification ritual. Why air? Everything about purification is in alignment with our priorities. Unity of everything that makes us, us. The embodiment of a whole, the, the solace in every breath. It ev <laughs> I, I think I'm the wrong sign. I never said we were good at it. It's just essential to the way we think the, and choose how to live or not live. You feel detached. That's not uncommon for Aquarians. I'm getting better, I think. I'm finding meaning and reason. I mean, I wake up and I want to get to the end of the day and everything else in between. I'm ecstatic to hear that, Everett. Except... Really. It's like a... an escape, almost like a distraction. It's... I'm worried if I rely on it and it just doesn't work out for me, it's... 
if you can't find it within yourself to give yourself peace, then the rest of it won't happen naturally. You don't have to go through purification to find worth. It sounds a lot easier. I wouldn't be so sure. What determines who gets purified? Nothing at all? I don't know. She hasn't slept in weeks. You know, you guys are doing the right thing by telling me, right? Cade said he saw her running at like 2 a.m. Cade, you got something you want to tell me? Yeah. 
Um. Hey, honey. Hey, um, you got some pizza? You want some? Hey, uh, I'll take you to school today. Interesting. Rest! How many times have we told you? You gotta stay out of other people's rooms! Everett. Everett. Can you hear me? Are you experiencing hallucinations? My name is Karen. I'm here to help you with whatever you need, whether that's an extra blanket, a notebook, snacks. I know you arrived late last night, and it can be a bit scary. I encourage you to come to group session this morning to meet the other patients. It's a very good way to hear about the program and to maybe meet some new friends. Does that sound good? Hey, Everyn just arrived late last night, so I thought we'd go around and introduce ourselves and tell about our goals while we're here at St. Francis. Patrick? Okay, uh, Lauren, can we start with you? Um, I'm Lauren. Um, I'm 17. I have a one-year-old son, almost two. His name is Cameron. Um, I guess my goal would be to feel well enough to take care of myself and him. Good. Okay. Jeffrey, age 11. Uh, my goals are to be less mad and uh, also be in control when I have in in. Impulses? Yeah. Malishka. And your goal? To get out. Okay, that's enough, Malishka. <clears throat> Preston. Actually, Karen, apparently you've already had the pleasure. Preston, Dr. Grant told you that if you didn't cooperate... Can you stop tapping the goddamn table? Hey, we don't... You're always mean to me! It's annoying. <laughs>
So you're new here. This place can be pretty scary for newcomers. Why do you care? I don't. Just leave me alone, Preston. Interesting. So we know each other. What? No, I... No. Why are you lying? See, no. That's just it. People in the walls they build up. Isn't it easier just to say what you're thinking? It's okay, Everett. You don't have to keep me out. I know it's tiring to keep up this, this facade. When I sleep, I hallucinate that I'm in an alternative universe. See? That wasn't hard. Of course you're bending the truth. I'm not. They're not hallucinations. No, no they're not. I believe you. So, um, why are you in here? Apparently I have serial killer tendencies. No, 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 I haven't killed people. <clears throat> so, tell me about this world. Evren. Evren, are you hearing me? Tell me about this world. I feel like uh, Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting. Kind of a movie buff, you know? My wife, she always makes fun of me. I have a little girl, she's about your age. That kind of looks like you too, don't you think? She's expecting a younger brother. She is elated. You're close with your brother, right? Kate, I think it is. Look, I know there's a lot going on up there. A lot of people assume that just because you're quiet, you don't have a lot to say. But listen, often it's people like you that have the most time to reflect. Okay, listen, we don't have to do this today. We have time. You can take all the time you need. Because frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Look, I'm just trying to help you. I promise. Get some water for Why you. Why is that drug too? Listen, I'm sorry about that. I did not know of those intentions. I spoke with the nurses and they informed me that that won't happen again. I promise. 
I'm not here to convince you that your experience is invalid. I'm not here to try and convince you that you're stupid or that I'm smart. Believe me, I know there's a lot going on up there. I know the advantages of being quiet. You're smart. You're very observant. I want to know what you're thinking. I'm interested in what you have to say. No daily papers I have to sign so the paychecks keep rolling in? No. Just these papers that ensure you're not going to kill yourself. Find out we have to be fast. I promised Preston we'd talk. So, you're making friends, huh? That's good. No, just Preston. I knew him already. Preston? How? I have these... dreams. They're not dreams. Are they? So, these decaying people, they're from school in this, this world? Yeah, most of them. I've noticed that your dad's not in this world. Why is that? Because I've heard that you're not too fond of your dad lately. It must be nice to get away from this world. And everyone in this world? They're people you know from the outside. Is that correct? What, like everyone in your dreams is someone you've met before? Evan, I'm not accusing this of not being real. I'm just trying to find out what you're going through. Well, there's Ezekiel and Alakai and even Preston. I didn't know any of them before. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. Okay, we're done here. I want to leave you with some homework, though. Think of what is really, really important in this life. And really focus on that. You'll find that caring for everything else comes easy if you find at least one thing worth living for. place will take everything special, everything compelling about you and torture it to death until you're just another societal robot. They don't give a damn about your happiness. They want to correct you. You're just another defective toy to mold into normalcy. Repulsive, tasteless, insipid normals. You just told me to focus on something I care about, okay? Jesus. Jesus? No. My brother. Oh. Good night, Everett. Good night, Jeffrey. Ever wait. Look at yourself. Look at what they're doing to you. You're constantly fighting against your own nature because they have you convinced you're crazy. You're divided, Ever. You can't keep fighting against yourself. And why won't you look at me? You need to choose. No. You can't keep living like this. It'll kill you. Are you listening to me? You can't keep surrendering yourself to two lives. What the hell do you want me to do? really cherish your darling brothers. Think about where they're most happy, hmm? Where you're most happy. Everett, I'm just trying to help. It's a simple decision from where I stand. What, you think you can help me? I can help you escape. I do it all the time. Just say the word. We're going to take leader from you, Everett. Do you want to be prisoner here? Do you want your brothers to be prisoner here? Hey, what's wrong? You've been dissing ever since Amber's purification. It's like, you don't want to be here with us. Come on, let's go for a walk.
you doing out here? It's a cold day. I uh, something's better by the river. We both do. Believe it or not, water signs tend to be like that. He's working on the star charts? Yeah, actually, he's almost done with your maps. We should be to Himal soon, the city of Scorpio hating Leos. Aren't you afraid? I'm not, I'm not planning on staying around much longer. So you don't really have to worry about keeping up the carrying act much longer. That's a bold assumption. You haven't even looked at me since the ritual. Is it the eyes? You just remind me of someone. I kind of get that a lot. I guess I just have one of those faces. I don't really think it's the same kind of thing. She died. Oh. I don't really know what comes after this life, but... Dad, I don't really know much about this life as it is. I hear you. I, I guess what I'm just trying to get at is... She's probably happy. I mean, I don't really... I think, I don't really know, but I'm really sorry, I'm really bad at the comforting thing. Are you? Am I happy? You mean after the ritual? I wouldn't really call it happy, more like at peace. Before I was, I had hit like a completely new low. After the war, my friends and my family were turned into creatures of the living dead. Uh, the world hated me. And I was completely alone. But now, I'm stronger. But not just in the physical sense. I feel connected, confident. Like I finally know where I stand, unwavering. I am home wherever I am. What? Are you scared? You don't want to be purified? I'm more afraid of how much I want to be purified. Hey, are you okay? We heard you passed out yesterday. Oh, oh yeah, I was just tired. Yeah, I, I totally get it. Preston's a freak. Well, but you, you should reconsider hanging around Preston. Why? I get that with all the attention he gives you, it seems like you're the only one he cares about, but you're just his next project. His his toy to manipulate. He tags something as interesting and makes your life his game. I'm sorry, but I don't see anyone else jumping up to help. This is us helping. He, he doesn't care about you. Do you guys have a history? You, you don't understand. He can't. Can't what? Feel for you. Feel for anything. He, he's not programmed like that. I thought that's why we're all here. We're all crazy. But we don't get tickled pink by snapping bird necks. Stop! Brat! You jerk. Who sat anywhere in the sun too? Of course I sat here. You're so Have you ever wondered why he doesn't have sessions with Grant like the rest of us? The first time that he talked to him, he threatened to strangle his wife and kids. And Grant understandably refused to see him after that. How do you know about him? We used to be cl closer. Oh, is, uh, um, is your kid? <laughs> no, no, oh my God, no. Don't worry. I won't be here long. Whatever. How about we move up our session today? When? How about now? Oh my god, I'm so 
Lauren. I can't do it anymore. We've already talked about this. Well, get caught. Finally make the right decision, and now you're like this. Did Grant say something? I've done this. We won't get then caught. Then why do they keep bringing you back here? God, this is so stupid. If I go home, they'll just bring me back. I have a plan. Don't listen to what Grant or anyone else who pretends to give a damn about you says. Everett. Everett. Do you trust me? Not... no. Preston! We're well, gonna have to. What are you saying there anyway? <laughs> you seem at peace. Anything change? Maybe you thought a little bit about what we talked about yesterday? I did. Good, good. That's great, Everett. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Go! Go without me! something else? What do you want? What, what do you mean? Look, let's not complicate this thing. Let's try and put away the disdain that you've got for your peers. Forget about the anger you have for your father or the concern you have about the happiness of your brothers. What do you want? Elementary, my dear Evren. I, I guess. I want to feel normal. Normal? I feel like I don't exist. Like my world just stopped. And the rest of the world goes on continuously without you. Maybe, eventually, you want to move with it? If you're looking for things to go back to the way they were... No, I know, I know things will never be the way they were. Let me be bold here. For a minute. Because I think you're ready. Lair is hazardous. No, hold on, wait, wait, let me finish. When people suffer a tragedy, often they look for solace in temporary compensations. But most of the time, they just pull you deeper away from the surface. A vice isn't always drugs or drinking. It's escape, it's distraction, it's danger. The temptation of a temporary fix is strong. I know. But this is pulling you further and further away, Evan. Soon, you may not be able to make it back. You come from a Lutheran family, right? Lent, 40 days in the desert. Jesus was tempted by food and water. But if it's the devil it's offering, would you take an offer from the devil? Everett, think of where you're most happy. Where your brothers are most happy. 
choose here? It's the illusion of happiness. Or, fighting through the pain to fix reality, this world, Evern, right here. I think you know what you need to do. I do. Ben. What happened? Where is everyone? We found a direct path to Hemo. We're holding off Scorps a mile that way. They raided the camp. We thought you were dead, Everin. Everin, out of all the times that you choose to run off, this has to be the worst. Mom thought you were dead. Everin, Everin, come on. Jack and I can carry you. It's a mile. There's medics. We can help you. I'm sure there's something. I'm, re I'm ready. Everin. I'm ready. Jack, help me. I'm ready. What? Don't say that. No, Everin, you're gonna. Ready for what? Purification. What? Just, just, just trust me. I don't want to do. Yes. Good. Good to see you. 
Thank you, Jack, for everything you've done for us. And I'm sorry I didn't say it before. Who do we know who can do the water ritual? friendly with the idea of facing my own death. But now that it's here, I don't want to die. Everin? Everin. Everin? me. Can you see me? Why you left? It was meant to. The beard, yes, the way. It's okay. So Forgive, you. Forgive you. I'm on my way. I'm on. I'm on. Let me be excited. 
trust in this hospital. And look what's happened. To my children, to my house. Dad, Everett, we get Dr. Grant in here. Oh, hi. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everett. They're just dreams. It's not real. I know, baby. It's okay. You see, baby. 